Christian Joy Dodge, sorry, seems like the only, only out and out forward if Camberry was to go. Is, is there also maybe a kind of question about whether they need to strengthen there as well? Because Dodge obviously uh, came good last season, was pretty prolific for Hibs and quite a reliable goal scorer. But again, if if something was to happen uh, or he was to go off the boil, is, is another area, area they should be looking to get some backup in? Yeah, I mean, yeah, they'll, they'll need more players in regardless of what system they play. Um, you know, as I say, they've only really got <clears throat> Dodge and Gullen on the books now who can play up front. One one thing though that makes me think that they there's a very good chance actually they might persevere with the uh, sort of three four one two is that Dodge was pretty useless when he was up front by himself. I mean, <clears throat> when he obviously he had when he first came to the club, he had that spell where I think it was like eight or nine games he went in the league without scoring a goal. And you know, there's some sometimes he was getting sitters and just fluffing his lines, which you know, happens. But I don't think it's any coincidence that when Hibbs changed to playing with a uh, a partnership up front, that's when Doyle started banging in the goals. I think he's a sort of guy that actually maybe needs someone else to sort of feed off of and you know help him out because I think when he has played lone striker, he's really struggled for you know long long spells of the season. So it will be interesting because Doyle is obviously. You know, he's their best striker. You know, he was one of the top scorers in the league, I think, in the end last season. And so I mean, I think a lot of it then you have to say, well, you know, you sort of need to work around him because you can't, there's not really an, an alternative there, I don't think. So it will be interesting to see what happens. I, I keep sort of going in between, I'm sort of in two minds about it in my own head about, you know, what we tactically have as well go next season. I can see like strong arguments either way. But either way, they're going to need strikers in, you know, maybe try and bring McNulty back once again. Maybe they'll start looking down the lower leagues. I mean, one name that's been consistently linked is Kevin Nisbet, but he's very much an in-demand player. Uh, I think he'd be a superb signing for them. Uh, again, if, you, if they were to bring him in, you would imagine that means they're sticking with two up top because both uh, both strikers in that situation, like they were, the last season, they both thrived and they played with a partner. And I think that, you know, for those that don't know it, Kevin Nisbet's been absolutely superb for Dunfermline uh, last season. Only Lawrence Shanklin finished with more goals than him in the league. Uh, and he's a really exciting player who, I mean, Stefan wrote a very good piece about this actually if, if, uh, a couple of months ago, talking about how he left, he was released by Thistle, sort of had to get his career back on track, and then he's really built himself up again, and now he's became this really fearsome opponent, and he's getting linked with all these moves to premiership clubs and clubs down south. Uh, I do think that if they manage to get him in, to partner Dodge up front or even just to sort of rotate them as if they do decide to play with one forward up front I think that'd be a tremendous bit of business because I think I don't think it would cost too much really in order to get in this bit away you're probably looking at a couple hundred grand and I think for the player that you're getting for that money I think it's a very savvy and canny investment so I think that that's one of these moves that it'll be interesting to see what happens because it is one like Doherty it's one of these ones where his will have to front up a fairly significant transfer fee in order to get their man, but if they do, then you've got to say that they do look in a position of real strength going into the new season.